world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio. What do, what do you see in the future? Do you think you will always stay together? Will there be a time when you, you if you had to, I, pigeonholes are awful things, but if you had to pigeonhole yourself, Alexandra, would you say that you would be, you only see relationships with women going forward? Yes, absolutely. And so yeah. that woman is obviously Sarah. Well, oh, well, I'm sorry, am I jumping to conclusions? Yeah, you jump to, you, you're, probably, you're probably jumping to conclusions. Um, we, we, will, we, will, we will see how things, things go. But, I mean, obviously, the, the fact that, um, that Sarah says he's not lesbian and I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not into men, the mm-hmm. logical conclusion is that, um, that, uh, that, uh, that there is... Um, that there are different developments. Let's put it. Let's put yeah, it. Yeah. What, what about for you, Sarah? That, do you see yourself wanting to be with a a cisgender male? Yes, I would like to go on a few dates, probably. Um, and uh, we've discussed it. And no. you know, if you, this this interview sort of brought it up. And yeah, um, definitely. Well, the fact that you you thought you might be asked that, so you had to to discuss that. Yeah. Um, and I think I would like to, but you know, it's jungle out there. Oh, and yeah. um, I'm very grateful that I. <laughs> so, so you're saying you'd stay together, but you'd have a relationship well, where you I have th- an understanding. I think, I think we will always be, be friends, but let's say intimate, intimate relationship in terms of a sexual relationship. That's that is, I think, unlikely to to be there. Or but Alex, is, is that going to be hard for you, Alex, seeing the woman you love with a? Well, um, no. I, I also have my own my own life. Um, uh, yeah. And, yeah. And, uh, girlfriend, and so that's if we can make that that work. I mean, that is. That do, is do you, I think do you logical, have a girlfriend? No. The log- yes. You have uh, a girlfriend, yes. and so um, it's, so you. It's kind of like, and uh, I've done stories on poly polyamory, if I've got that correct. You know. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. So you're you're close. You're a unit, but you are accepting of other people but being respectful and and keeping yeah. the other person informed yes i mean it, i've i'm, I'm married to her obviously for for a reason but things have changed mm. it doesn't mean that she is a that all of a sudden she's a bad person no uh, no but, you're still very you, much you, together you're on a, on a journey i've been i am on this journey and sarah is on her journey um that doesn't mean that you disrespect each other no. but mm. um you you need I need more in 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 a relationship than. Um, oh, both both of you do. When exactly. It physical so I think that is that's a logical way to uh, to 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 go. I, I would say. It's it's a, it's a very I hate using the word story because it's real people's lives. But when as I said when I read this, the thing that I got from it and correct me if I'm wrong is real understanding you must have had to have very real very deep very honest conversations mm. you can which, say that again yeah well <laughs> most of most people avoid but clearly you've had conversations of such depth and such you know when we talk about intimacy people immediately think sex but to me the closest mm. the best the closest intimacy you can get mm. is with the with the mouth and, and the brain uh, and the heart, but talking, and clearly you've had to do a lot mm. of heart so- and uh, soul searching and talking. Uh, I, I think, yeah. Again, uh, I think the the time that we spend in the Middle East helped on that on that journey because you have to take it take it easy, um, and to to get clear in your mind of what you what you want and what you mm. what you don't don't want. So, um, yes, it, there have have been a lot of discussions and frustration, also laughter. Um, it has been hilarious. Uh, <laughs> what's the funny? Just, just quickly before we end, what's some of the let's end on? What's some of the funniest situations you've um, yourself in? You just turn in the car and you say, "Oh, darling, please can I have your lipstick? I left mine at home." So no one ever to their husband. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yep, that um, happens. And you know, she's got great taste in handbags. But I wish I could had the same size feet. Um, you know, it's we we do have. Uh, we just laugh. I think that's one of the keys to our relationship. Is she makes me laugh so much. Mm, mm. <laughs> Not always, but hey. oh, no, no, sometimes you need a good snap. But um, no, we we do. We we love each other. We understand each other. We talk, and we laugh. 
what more can you have for a marriage? I mean, you know, there's all sorts of other so stuff. True. But you that's the basis of any good marriage. And, and you have you have a level of honesty. Oh, You've had to have a blatantly. level of honesty yeah. between the two of you that I I'd stick my neck out and say probably eighty or ninety percent of marriages don't have, or people think they might have, but they don't. But you've had to go into places and talk about things that most people would shy away from. Yep. It's been lovely meeting you, Thank really you, lovely, Fabius. and I, 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 I really wish you all the joy in the future. I know there's always pain as well, but I, you know, I think love at when you get to a level of love that's so deep, whatever comes after that is it's sort of like a bedrock, isn't it? It yes, is the bedrock absolutely. for future. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's this is this is basically the basis of what is going to happen of for, for the future. I mean, there's a lot of other topics that that we could discuss oh. in the next in the next time. Yeah, yeah, uh, the that next time. Listen, lot, I'd love to have you that back. Could be I, a lot, maybe a li little bit more controversial. Oh <laughs> please! <laughs> I mean, we could talk about uh, trans issues and no, all it's, it's also, sorts of things. It's also about about uh, going back into a working place, and I've seen the the, the, the difference between, as Sarah said, uh, yes, I was silent in, in, in meetings, which as a, in a man's body, and actually oh. I was always happy to be born in a man's body. I'm, I'm yeah. sure I would not have made a career that I made in a woman's body. So ah, that's another that's topic another, that we, could, uh, we uh, could talk about. We've run out of time, but <laughs> I'm telling you, um, even if, if, if it's from Connecticut, we will have further conversations on this. <laughs> thank, oh, you. thank you. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Trisha Goddard, and this is Talk Radio. Good talk. Hot talk. Hot talk. Hot talk. Hot talk. talk Radio. Listen on your smart speaker. Watch it live on your smart TV. The world headquarters of common sense. Talk Radio.